Hi everyone, thanks for coming to Pot About with me. Today I wanted to give you an update and a quick video on a plant I've had on my channel. Um, firstly, I know some of you wanted to know an update on my Gloxinia, which is this plant right here. Um, and basically, this is what's left of it from the last time it was shown on my channel. Um, I was supposed to put an update of when it flowered, which I will give you um, just on screen now. Basically what happened was it flowered and then for some reason the flower just fell off. So um, I'm not sure if I bumped it by accident. I don't remember that I did, but it may be an option or a reason why uh, the flower did fall off. Or I did find that the growth was quite spindly, which is what I'm going to try and address just in this video. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what it looks like now and then I'm going to repot it. So um, I'm going to show you over here, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically this was the growth which is now dried up but if you look down there, if I can get around that leaf, there's new growth coming up there. So you can just see the corm or the bulb or whatever you want to call it just peeping through the soil. But the mixture that I used to plant this in was just like my soil for my African violets, which has got like some of them on wick systems there. So there is like a lot of perlite in the mix. So I just don't think that was good for a Gloxinia. It did flower, but it's not ideal condition. So all I'm going to do is just cut back the foliage which is dead and then I'm going to repot the plant in um, a bit of a different soil I'll just show you here so I've got it mixed and it's got a little bit of perlite um, but it's not as much as I had before so it's a bit more solid um, and that's basically what I'm going to use so I've also got a bit of space in the um, maybe about an inch from where the soil is a little bit maybe inch and a half um, from the base of the soil to the top of the pot. So I'm just going to lift the plant up a little bit more, um, put it on more soil, um, and then I will hope that this changes, makes it a bit more stable and less leggy, I guess. So that's sort of where I am now, and I'm just going to get that done. So um, hope you enjoy this video, and hopefully in the next couple of months, um, I will see better results. Just for context, the Gloxinia I planted last year was on the 5th of March, so it's about 13 months since I repotted.
Okay, so that's pretty much the Gloxinia planted up again. I did just use this little, I used to have it on orchids, but just to poke down through and just to make sure there were no air gaps in there. So you can kind of feel where there is a gap and then you can just re, you know, push down the soil slightly just to fill in those gaps. Um, but hopefully the soil mixture will be better this year. I'm going to give it a water and then put it back in its pot. Um, last year I did put it under these grow lights over here. I'm going to try and not do that. Um, I suppose I could do it, but I'll just leave it on a windowsill and see how well it does just with the natural light this year. Because last year it was under grow lights, so I'm not sure if that affected it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any tips for me, because this is only my second time this has grown, um, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you and goodbye.